100. Back at Digichemistry, we're going to talk Liverpool Arsenal, we're going to talk Cardiff City, racism in football, that's episode 100. Shall we play the music? An oil filter is like a goalkeeper. I want a question. Well, I don't want one, sorry. I've got one for you. Do you want one? Can you hold it for just a sec? Got every... You message me when Dean Saunders is trending. You yeah, I do message words. you because as soon as I open it, I'm like, oh my God, Dean Saunders is trending so, on Twitter. I think people, what who, has he said? people who get Dean Saunders on absolutely know exactly what they're doing because when he's on air, it is, feels like watching a clown run across a minefield. Can I throw this out there now? We're on the... On the bombshell that is clown running across a minefield. Mr. Dean Saunders, I'd like to formally invite you on to a touchline rant. You've you missed a tear. You spelled rant wrong. Pookie was brilliant. I saw it coming. You did, you did, you captained him. He's, as we said on last week's show, Pookie has now scored with his first touch uh, eight seasons in a row. So that's a massive stat. And now, he then in his second game in the Premier League, he scores at trick. Now, I saw Pookie play. He was a Bromby, Pookie. I saw him play Celtic, obviously, as well. He was not, he did not set Bromby on fire. Do you know what I mean? Like literally or metaphorically, no fires were started by Pookie, which are clear. Um, he was released, he was average. He was average for Bromby. Yeah, oh, Norwich right, took a chance on him and he scored, what was it, 29 goals? It's, the right, it's the right, right team that fits his, yeah. the way he plays. It's exactly that. It's, it's a not, he's perfect not the only player. One. He's a stand up performer, but. Let's give credit where it's due, how, how well... He's not the only one, but I suggest he... I mean, he's got four goals in two games. He's the Can league... He's the, um, the league joint top goal scorer. Arsenal have been really impressive. The first two games, they've just gone out there, got it done. Six points. Arsenal's defence is still pretty weak, but... As a standby option until they can bring in like Saliba can come in next season and then add to it again, which I'm sure they will next window. Mm -hmm. That they've done pretty well. Like David Luiz is, I'm not a fan of him because I don't think you've got a defender who's prone to error already at the club. However, as a stopgap for a year until Saliba's ready, that is a good option. Think, He's solid. I think it absolutely. And for the deal that it the deal that it was, it made sense to bring him in. The problem is, is that like I said before, people say how poor Man United are in midfield. Well, yeah, that's true. Arsenal are just as poor in defence. Liverpool, on the other hand, and this is what my point was going to be with Liverpool, is I think if you're both clubs, like even though I knew I know Unai Emery said that um, if it was up to him, they wouldn't ever play Liverpool. Did you see that? I did he see said that. that. I actually think this is game has come for a good time for Arsenal and a bad time for Liverpool. The more it saves, the better it is. And that's why you should always choose a Unipart filter. In front of me, yeah. lay some big topics. I would like you to choose one. Mm -hmm. It's a topic of football. Like we're choosing a topic. To oh, okay, it. right. Choosing it. So pick one anyway. What have you got? Racism. Yes. I mean, no. Let's discuss it. This week has seen pretty horrible. All this season already, if we include... I called Abraham, it two weeks ago. Yeah, look. It's seen an, a very large amount of large, you know, racism cases against footballers on social media. There's been calls for social media... Um, social media platforms to now make it so that you have to sign up your driver's license or passport information to have a social media account. Um, because then you're accountable. If you're then racist to a footballer because he missed a penalty, one, you're a moron. 
Paul Pogba has been in the fire line, obviously. In that game, he gave 100%. Am I wrong? No. He gave everything. No one is actually mentioning, right, the abuse that he got. No one's actually mentioned how great a save that actually was. It was, it was a good save. It, it was, was a, a great save. Look, it wasn't the best of penalties, but that's irrelevant, isn't it? You know what I mean? Was, like... Did you see how hard he hit? He actually, he was a bit nervous in the, in the run-up to it, hmm. but he gave everything. No one's mentioned the save. I'm sorry, no one has mentioned it. Yeah, but the problem that you have now with this no whole story, no one will now, because the story has now become that he was racially abused on Twitter. Now, I would suggest that if Paul Pogba sets fire to your mum, it's still not justification to be racist to him on Twitter. Did we not call this about four weeks ago, three weeks ago? You said three weeks ago. You said three weeks ago that you felt that this season was a lot of cases of racism, sadly, and you were correct. Uh, I right, absolutely left. We're going to talk Cardiff City. We haven't talked Cardiff City since last year when they fell out of the Premier League and ceased to become let's relevant. Be, let's just be easy up, ease up on Cardiff City. I'm you joking, obviously. I am happen. joking. You yeah. just don't know what's going to happen. No, you don't know what's going to happen. But, but I would suggest <clears throat> getting tramps 3 0 to Reading was awful. Like, they're in trouble. They are no. in trouble. I genuinely think they are. Yeah, like you call what mid table trouble? Cardiff have lost an identity. Ugh. I don't like it. Uh, so what, big table? Yeah, at best, I think, unfortunately. Look, I'm happy to be made an idiot, and, and I'd love for Cardiff to get promoted back to Premier League. And I would look back on this podcast and go, oh, God, remember when I said they struggled to get mid table? I'd love to be wrong. Let me get that right, right out there. But I just worry that I'm not. I think that they are going to really, really I think struggle. doing well to keep everything together. Genuinely. They're barely though, that's the thing, they're barely keeping it together. Oh, I don't know. Give me a positive. Positive? Uh, Patterson, Warner, I think next. he's good. No. Patterson's not been starting. Well, no, but that's what I mean. He's, so he's saying Patterson's going to be a big player. Yeah, he gets to be added back into this. Um, it's an interesting time. I, I wish they still had Bobby Reid. Okay, we'll just see how it goes. Look, I'm worried, you're more optimistic, but we both hope they get promoted. Is that fair? Obviously. And save your engine from grime, dirt, and pollution. Unipart filters are the only filters recommended by British Leyland. I absolutely love. We've got a special sponsor this week. What did Gary Spurbank do? If you're not worried about who your father is, is, Gary. Yeah. No, I, I just work for him. Oh, okay. If you're not happy with, if you don't mind who the father is, it's like a gamble. Who could the dad be? It could be anybody. It could be a good guy, rich guy, poor guy. It doesn't matter. He's got a joint thing with you with Gary's meats. Yeah. You know, um, so what he's done is he's put in all the freezers where they keep the meat, he's got a couple yeah. of shelves where people's sperm will be in there. And that's where you deposit the sperm as well. Well, I cannot wait to hear yeah, this there special is another music. Pod, there is a podcast. They've got a podcast. They've got a podcast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone has. Oh. Yeah. Everyone has. Everyone has. Okay. Should we do another one? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, his sperm bag is coming out Play with music, podcast. Right. Music. Ga Gary's sperm. Hello, I'm Bill Pitt, and I'm here with a very personal problem today. I can't have children. My wife thinks just ain't working right, so my wife is goddamn fed up of trying. And I thought to myself, well, I we have a baby that I'm paying those goddamn medical prices. Gary's sperm bag has opened up to give you sperm for the stranger. No need to worry about where it came from, just know that it's there.
that the father was actually a serial killer, and now I'm too afraid to sleep in my own goddamn house. I'm Bill Pip. Uh, I right, done. absolutely loved A hundred episodes. That is, I'm going to take a moment and just say that's an achievement. Special episodes is a special sponsor. It is Gary Sperm Bank. <laughs> Terms and conditions apply. do apply. I haven't got them here. Should we? Uh, should we get out of here? Done. Yeah. All right. See you next week. Thank you very much. Done. I well, done. Absolutely loved. <laughs> I'm just loading the audio a minute. Oh, I love that it landed on my head. I can't get this in the hole, Alex.